Hello and welcome to Aquarius Rising Tarot. This message is for Libra. This is going to be a love reading for the rest of November. But I ask that these readings resonate whenever they are meant to reach you. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you're connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you're thinking about, and someone who is thinking about you. Okay. I want to thank each and every one of you for liking, subscribing, commenting, donating, and ordering personal readings. You make it possible for me to do this, and I appreciate you all so much. So what is the heart of the matter? What is the heart of the matter? What are some things happening in your daily life? What is going on in your heart space? Some intentions. And a potential outcome. Okay, get your person's cards and we'll get into this. What is the heart of the matter for your person? What is the heart of the matter for your person? What are some things happening in the daily life? What is going on in the heart space? What are some intentions? And a potential outcome. Okay, let's get into this. So for the heart of the matter, we have the fool. Aries energy could be significant, but this really is a new beginning. It's a fresh start, it's very positive, it's very exciting. It's like anything can happen, anything is possible. You're open to new beginnings and Something feels very fresh. This could be someone that you've recently met or someone who's recently um, reconnected with you, but the energy is new. I mean, the way you're feeling about it is very open. When you get the full card, it's like you're ready to take a leap, see where things can go, see what can happen. Your person, the heart of the matter, we have the sun card. Could be dealing with a Leo at it's mainly the energy. They are very, I mean, very excited about you. That, I mean, the two of you feel so interested in some, in one another. So positive, at least in your mind about this whole connection. I feel like there's a little, there's a little bit of challenge and I will show you when we get there, but the way that you felt, at least upon meeting, was like, this is it. This is, this is the one, this is exciting. Let's do this. Let's, let's, let's get into this. Like you're happy. They're happy. Something started off really very, like very energetic, very positive. In your daily life, you both have the two of swords. So it's like, what is going on? To be this excited about someone and have all this like positive new energy and then to both be in this space where you both need to make sort of a heart overhead decision and are trying to think it through like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, of course, but it's like trying to solve something in your mind that could only be resolved in the heart. Um, the two of you could be making some big decisions, though, about your future together. Could be travel towards one another, moving um, in together for some of you. It could be just if you want to move forward with this, if it's if it's possible, if there's potential here. I'm excited to see the clarifiers. I almost picked up my clarifier deck, but I like to do the clarifiers at the end. But I'm excited to see what this big decision is that is on both of your minds. If it's the same, something different. But you're both up in your heads a little bit about this. It's almost as if you're so excited and it was so positive, this new beginning or this fresh start. 
that neither of you really want to mess it up. You may have started to overthink a little bit. I know that that has happened to me in the past, right? I get so excited about someone. It's like the best thing that ever happened to me. And then all of a sudden I start to panic like, oh my gosh, what if they don't feel the same way? Or what if it doesn't work out? And then I get up in my head and I just like sabotage the whole thing. And I shouldn't even laugh, but I have done that. Like, and I'm not saying that's the energy you're in, but that just kind of reminded me to start so like, positive and then kind of get up in your head about things could be you could be them could be both of you so in your heart space you've got the ace of swords this is a decision so here in your daily life you have a decision that you want to make here in your heart space you're very decisive like you know how you feel you know what you want like you want to I feel like you do want to talk to this person, communicate with this person, see where things can go. This person in their heart space is in a little bit different energy. Scorpio energy, also Pisces, Cancer, but it's Five of Cups. This person is discouraged about some things, possibly some things that have gone on in the connection between the two of you or possibly other things in their life. But they've made some mistakes, they've got their hopes up before, they've had some things not work out, and now it's almost hard for them to look or think about like where this could go or if it's possible. Like these two of cups is standing right behind this person, but this person, it's almost like you kind of get in this headspace about like, oh, I don't want to make the same mistakes again. And then you end up doing that because you're so like discouraged to get into that energy and you end up making like similar mistakes, but they are aware of this connection. This two of cups is standing, it is here. They know this is something, they know this is special, um, but I'm not sure that they are, are kind of facing towards it yet. It's almost like they're processing some things. And we're gonna get our clarifiers. Once again, I almost reached for the clarifier deck. I never do that, but I'm, I just, just wanting to know what's going on here, but, um, but we'll get those. In your intentions, you've got the magician. This is very positive energy. This is you wanting to make it happen. So I feel like you really decided about this, Libra. I feel like you know this is the person that you're interested in. You want to make it happen. You want to see where it can go. You want to talk. I mean, you've got all the tools of the tarot here. You're hard in it. You'd like to get together and see them. You know, you're feeling, I feel confident there's a lot of confident energy here that this could really go someplace and i also feel like you know that you have attracted in something or someone that you have been manifesting hoping for and thinking about for quite some time your person is in this three of wands energy this is someone that has been waiting for their ships to come in and then sees them, like sees them. They, This person has been waiting for someone like you, has been waiting for an opportunity with you or an opportunity with someone like you. They see you, sorry, my dog's getting antsy. They see you, you show up, they're excited about the possibility of this. And yet I feel like they're in a little bit of this wait and see energy. Like what's gonna happen? Are they gonna come towards me? Are they interested in me? They're just a little, like a little in their feels, like a little in their head about it. So your potential outcome, we've got the 10 of wands, the knight of swords and the knight of cups. So I feel like whatever it is that you've been up in your head about, trying to figure out, I feel like it's decided because you're wrapping up some sort of burdensome cycle. You're ending a burdensome cycle and maybe that's just the burden of living with decisions that you haven't made yet because I, I think the very next thing is this Knight of Swords. This is messages coming in. This is new energy. This is communication. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then Aries here with this magician. I also get some Gemini for that, just me as a reader. But I feel like this burdensome cycle that you are leaving behind is possibly a cycle of indecision or a time of being stressed or busy. I mean, it could just be that you had so much stuff going on in your daily life. It was hard to know if you could focus on this and move it forward. But I feel like you do because... I see some sort of messages and communication coming straight towards you and I feel like you respond right back. It's like someone tells you something about how they feel and then 
and then you move straight towards them. This is the Knight of Cups, and it's the first cup that has come up on your side. Uh, besides this, this cups of you, like in the in the magician manifesting love, I feel like once you get to the point of knowing this person has chosen you, knowing they've decided about uh, you, that you're the one that they tell you, then you open your heart up and you go straight towards them. There is messages of love. There is communication here. For your person, oh, interesting. We have, I didn't even see this when I was laying them down. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the King of Cups. So your person, we have this, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. Could be dealing with that. It's getting some real clarity about who they are, what they're doing, what they're capable of. They're also seeing you as very beautiful and interesting. And they are also wrapping up a cycle. And once again, it's almost like the two of you, look at this mirroring energy, are wrapping up like a cycle of indecision. I don't feel like either of you are going to put this on hold anymore. I feel like both of you are ready to put whatever it was you were being indecisive about, whatever you, they were being discouraged about, or whatever the case is. It's like you're putting that behind you. You're putting the past behind you. And you're ready to talk and open up because we've got the King of Cups here. This is someone who genuinely loves and sh and shows the people in their life how much they love them this is deep emotion cancer scorpio pisces energy i feel like this person may have taken their time about things may have been up in their head both of you may be really busy and just having trouble like making the time or finding the time to make this work but something shifts with you libra and you make a decision and you're like this is my person this is what i want this is how i feel and it just magnetizes them right in because they turn from being this sort of discouraged indecisive kind of waiting energy to being the king of cups this is someone who shows up this is someone who feels deeply so both of you have been going through a very similar kind of process but to have your final cards here being the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups, it's like both of you are making this decision to put the past behind you and focus on love, on emotions, on the potential of what can be. So why do we have this fool here? Why do we have this fool? Why do we have the fool? Why do we have the Sun card? Why do we have the sun card? Why do we have the two of swords? Wow. Okay. You are ready for a fresh start. No more drama. Uh, five of wands in reverse. No more drama. No more stress. No more being up in your head about things. No more fighting. You're not going to fight with this person. You're not going to play games. Nothing. It's like, we're going to go for it. We're going to make this happen. And, and that's, that's that. Like if this is someone returning from the past, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm good with this. I'm good to see where this can go, but I'm, I don't want any more drama. I don't want any, I don't want to fight with you. I don't want, you know, the indecision. I want to know how you feel like you, you have clarity and you want clarity from your person. And that is a very healthy place to be. Your person with the sun is clarified by the nine of wands. This person, I'm telling you, they have been through some things. It causes them to look over their shoulder a little bit, to be a little guarded, have a little trouble trusting. They've, they've been through maybe some really difficult past relationships. And it's almost like they might carry that with them a little bit. And you can't make like this fresh, positive, lighthearted new start when you're carrying like old stuff, old wounds from the past, but sometimes we heal together. You know, I mean, it could be that they're like, yes, I've got my wounds. I've got my challenges, but you make me really happy. And I want to, I want to see where this can go. And sometimes people are still processing things. They're still working through things, but that doesn't mean that they can't take a chance and see where that things can can go with you and so i feel like if the things that they are guarded from is is challenges that have happened between the two of you they still want to try 
if it's things from the past, they are processing, but you make them happier than they have been in a really long time. And I do feel like they want to see where things can go with you. Two of swords clarified by the magician. You've got the magician twice. You have been manifesting something. I am telling you, you have put it out there. What you, what you desire and a connection, what you're hoping for, and you are drawing it right back to yourself. And it's almost as if the moment you really make the decision about what it is that you truly want, it's like it comes right towards you. Because this person, their two of swords is clarified by the ten of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, twice coming up here. So you could be dealing with them, um, one of those earthy signs, but this person knows that you're the one that they want to be with. I I mean, with them being the two of swords, it's like they want it to make logical sense. They want it to all fit. It's almost like they have this idea of things are going to be a certain way and they want it all to fit. They want it all to make sense and, and they want to plan things and how they can end up with you and how it can all work out. And I feel like you can only look so far down the road. The only thing we really have is this moment. And it's almost like they want to know that everything's going to be different with you. Everything's going to be better. And it just takes time. But they do feel like you are their person. You are the one. They have made that decision. So why do we have the Ace of Swords here? Why do we have the Ace of Swords here? Nine of Swords. You have had some stress over this. You have. Um, there could have been, I mean, there's definitely been some difficulties in both your past. It could be in the same connection that you're revisiting, or it could be in previous connections, but there has been some anxiety. There has been some stress, but I feel like there's something that you are doing to get some clarity. I don't know if you're studying some new things, um, manifestation, things like that, because we've got this magician twice, but I feel like you've been really up in your head about things, but now you're you're getting decisive, you're getting some clarity. And when you find that clarity, you attract that from the people around you. So why do we have the Five of Cups for your person? King of Cups once again, and we have the King of Cups twice. They are so into you. Their feelings run so deep. I mean, this is, shh, <laughs> Sorry, my dog's getting antsy. It's getting close to dinner time. It's like, I can do one more reading before I take him out. He's he's not agreeing. <laughs> but um, this person's feelings for you are very deep. Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy here. I don't even know if you realize how strong their feelings are. They have made some mistakes in the past, be it in this connection or in another. It's going to be different for everyone. They don't want to make those mistakes again, but this person is making this choice. With the Five of Cups being clarified by the King of Cups, they are making the choice to leave their, their doubts and fears and securities behind, turn around, pick up that cup, and offer it to you. And I did see the Six of Cups um, when I was doing your... Um, when I was like premeditating, like when I was meditating and doing a pre-shuffle and things like that. So I do feel like someone definitely wants to make an offer to you, Libra, and they do have very sweet feelings for you, very positive feelings, but I don't feel like this is very easy for this person. I feel like they might be like a big planner or an overthinker and getting into this heart space is, is kind of new and they might be a little tentative about it, but they do want this, this new beginning with you. So why do we have the magician here? Why do we have the magician? And we have this magician twice. The world, okay, you could be dealing with someone that you've met online or someone that's far from you, someone that's a different age, a different culture, someone that you may have to travel towards. But I also feel like this is a card of success. This is a card of ending a cycle. You've released an old cycle. You are new. You are fresh. It's like no more stress, no more drama, no more anxiety. Like you are doing something to shift the way that you think. And out of the whole world, you are drawing new and better, more positive things to you because you've changed the way you think. You've changed the way you look at the world and people are noticing it. Like something has shifted with you and this person is seeing it. Like they could be seeing it on social media. They could be hearing from your friends, but no matter how far apart the two of you are, it's almost like they can feel the energy of the shift that you're going through over the distance. 
I feel like you are manifesting someone to possibly come towards you from a distance or someone that there's been some distance between the two of you because I see some distance closing now. But I also see that some of you are actually getting very noticed. And this is a side thing. Um, but you have been working on something, manifesting something, and you're getting some notice or a claim. So that's very specific for someone. Okay, why do we have the Three of Wands here for your person and their intentions? Why do we have this Three of Wands? The Tower. Yeah, well, you know what I told you about this person having these, this stress from past things that it's like they're still carrying. And it could be from a past connection with you. It could be from something in the past. But they've had some things break down. They've had some things that haven't worked out the way that they hoped and it makes them a little tentative it makes them a little slow to move forward or to tell you how they feel it makes them wait a little longer to be sure how you're feeling that sort of thing because they're still recovering from from some things that they have been through but i do feel like they are ready for this new beginning with this three of wands they're ready for a new beginning with you aries and scorpio energy could be significant there Okay, why do we have this Ten of Wands with you, Libra? What's this cycle that you are wrapping up? Wow. Well, if you've been insecure in the past, you're definitely wrapping that up. You've got the King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. This is confidence. This is dynamic. This is, I feel like you are being noticed. It's like you possibly have taken like on like a really creative or interesting or new thing or doing something new in work or getting a promotion or something like that or doing something creative, but you are getting noticed. And I feel like also something that you've been working on for a long time is paying off. But I feel like you are very in a sense, very confident in a way that you hadn't been before. Like, I don't know if you are like listening to, oh, look what we have on the bottom. We have the two of cups. Um, listening to like manifestation things while you sleep or something like that. But somebody is getting a lot of confidence where they used to have anxiety and that's incredible. So why do we have this Queen of Pentacles here for your person? Why do we have this Queen of Pentacles? Why do we have this Queen of Pentacles? Wow. Yeah. She's trying to kind of play it cool, be calm, you know. I, I just feel like be strong, be smooth, be a planner, hold it all together, that sort of thing. A little bit guarded, but in your person's heart, they are just... They're very soft, they're very sensitive, they're very vulnerable. I don't know that they show that, but it's there. And they hold their guard, their, they keep their guard up just a little bit because of how vulnerable they can be on the inside. But something has happened where you have gotten into this person's heart and they are in their feels over you and you are the person that they genuinely want to be with. We have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups here. This is someone opening up about their emotions, and I feel like this is someone that that might not be an easy thing for them. But they're letting you in, and if they're doing that, even a little bit, it's because you mean a lot to them. There's a level of trust that they have with you that they don't have with other people. So, why do we have this Knight of Swords for you? Hi, Priestess. Okay, I feel like you or them may have been quiet. Sometimes you get this card when there's like divines that have been in separation for a long time or something like that. Someone got quiet. Um, someone who has been quiet is quiet no longer with that Knight of Swords. It may really take you by surprise. Uh, Virgo energy, I also get Pisces from this with the moon here. Um, someone that may have been quiet for a long time, but that you intuitively knew was thinking about you and coming towards you may show up. It may take you a little bit by surprise. You almost might question their motives a little bit because sometimes the Knight of Swords comes in really fast and doesn't think things through and that. But in your heart, in your intuition, I feel like you know that there is more to this. And... And this is someone that you really genuinely have strong feelings for with this Knight of Cups here. 
So why do we have the Ten of Wands for your person? Why do we have the Ten of Wands for your person? Page of Wands. Wow. Yeah. I feel like they're just wrapping up a cycle of being in their head, stressing about how things can go, maybe holding back, maybe being quiet, because they've got a fresh start here. They've got the Page of Wands. They want to communicate. They want to have a new beginning. I feel like the two of you may have had a lot of challenges and different things that may have been keeping you apart with this, these two Ten of Wands in the world. Possibly a lot of differences or distance or things like that. A lot of work. Could it be just any number of challenges. But this person wants to wrap that up and they just like they just want to come to you. They want to see you. They want to see where things can go. They want to talk about a new beginning. And it's very positive. So why do we have this Knight of Cups on your side? Why do we have this Knight of Cups here? Too many cards that's three let me just get one <laughs> why do we have this knight of cups here why do we have this knight of cups the seven of cups and the star i feel like you have been thinking possibly dreaming about someone possibly communicating with them psychically there has been some challenges and some and some difficulties that that is for certain because i feel like you were really up in your head about this with the nine of swords and even with them coming forward with this this communication you're a little unsure about where they're coming from what their motives are but with this star card, Aquarius energy could be significant. You have done your share of healing and you have been wishing for this message. You have been wishing for it and hoping for it. And it is in a sense like a wish come true with this, this communication. And it does feel very honest and very genuine. The star is all about healing and it's possible this person has been quiet kind of working on their healing and that sort of thing and now they're feeling more ready to come forward but I do feel like it might take you a little bit by surprise but it has it is something you've been hoping for so why do we have the king of cups why do we have the king of cups the wheel of fortune yeah this is a big shift like I told you this person they can get up in their head they can worry about making mistakes they can worry about past things that haven't worked out but overall their feelings for you run so deep that they want to they want to make this work this this the wheel of fortune it's all about good luck prosperity jupiter the planet of expansion things improving things changing things that have been one way suddenly being another and all of this could, like I said, could very much take you by surprise, but this is something you have been hoping for and something that you have been manifesting. And this person definitely wants to come see you. For some of you, it's it's traveling. I mean, with the world and the Wheel of Fortune, that can be someone crossing a distance to be with you, but sometimes that can just be like emotional distance that's being crossed. Sometimes it can just be someone who's been quiet speaking up and communicating, but their feelings are a lot deeper than you may realize. But this person is definitely ready to talk about that. And I feel like the two of you do have these feelings for one another. And this is something that you have been, a communication that you have been hoping for and wishing for. But you are also doing some things, whatever you're doing, Libra, keep it up because it's not even this person taking notice of you. It's everyone. Like there is something you're doing that is so special. It has to do with your intuition, has to do with just your self-knowledge and awareness and new ways of thought that is attracting like not only this person, like you are irresistible to this person. It is attracting a lot of a lot of attention. It's it's fantastic. I love it for you. So this is what I have for you. Take what is yours, leave what's not. And if something spoke to you specifically and you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, all the details are in the description box below. Love you all and I'll talk to you soon.